we're joined by Clark County Commission Chair Marilyn Kirkpatrick for our new monthly segment. That's right. We'll be joined yes. by Marilyn to discuss several different things on the commission that's working on. But first, uh, you're settling into your new role now, the Commission Chair. You're used to having these high-profile positions, right? No, no. At home, <laughs> I'm still the chief bottle washer, so <laughs> it's all good. All right. Well, thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Are you getting settled with everything? Yeah. Well, I mean, we have a great group um, that we're working with, and we're bringing everybody up to speed. So. Um, everybody's excited, a lot of things that want to get done, so um, it, it's good. Yesterday was our second meeting, so it's getting smoother every day. Yeah, yeah, and this week you were part of the homeless count, mm -hmm. and of course you want to look at ways to raise money to help the homeless. We understand our state's marijuana industry could certainly help. Yes, so in the, on the local level, yeah. um, local jurisdictions are allowed by state statute to uh, collect business fees and taxes. Okay. So we want to take our money and put it toward a more comprehensive um, program to ensure that we can get the homeless off. Today we have 215 families that are homeless. Mm -hmm. um, some of those kids um, are in our foster care system. Mm -hmm. So if we can get the family stabilized, we can get the kids reunified with the parents. And that, that's a small start of where we want to get to in the future. Certainly. Yeah. certainly. Well, okay. you're obviously the commission chair, but you represent the Northeast, a very big rural uh, part of yeah. Clark <laughs> County. Uh, there was a move last year to, uh, by some folks in Sunrise Manor. They wanted to separate East Las Vegas. They felt like they were not getting the enough attention from the Clark County Commission, issues with access, roads, and so forth. Where, from your point of view, does that stand now, and what efforts will the commission take to try and address their concerns moving forward? So we have worked pretty hard to address their concerns. One of it was roadways. So Hollywood Boulevard um, will be starting in the next uh, two weeks, and they will get that repaved in a whole new road with linear parks along the side, bike paths. Um, so we've worked to start um, to help clean up the area. So we're hoping that and we have a substation coming in the future over in that area. So we're working to hear their concerns. There is a new commissioner in that area. So to um, help to bring him up to speed on what some of the issues were and um, continue to move forward. Oh, you know, we asked her during the break, what you got going on this weekend? You got to rest? You said, there's no rest. Some of your busiest <laughs> times happen on the weekends because you cover such a huge area. So, you know, you've been talking about some of the things you want to focus on, but what are some of the other goals for this year for you? So really, um, the county as a whole is we really want to talk about our county family. Our family is very big, so we have 10,000 employees um, in Clark County. Um, plus, you know, the federal workers yeah. that are partners. And we, we want to ensure that we're inclusive and we bring everybody together and we address all the issues. Clark County has 38 departments, plus not counting our airports, our um, court system, um, our CPS system, DFS, so we are busy all the time. <laughs> you are, you are. And speaking of federal workers, that um, drive that we've been promoting this week, and we went out and interviewed you about the uh, toiletries, the um, paper products, that goes until what, uh, midday today? Mm -hmm. uh, so it actually goes to, um, through tomorrow. Through tomorrow, okay, great. And that's so that we can accommodate all shifts. Yeah. So there's a little over 2,000 employees that are impacted right here, and they really are a family. We we know how important that airport is yeah. to what we do, and you know we're a great community. I've lived here most of my life, and uh, this is an opportunity to show how we give back. Yeah, and where can people drop off those donations again? So we prefer that they bring them to um, a Clark County building as opposed to taking them out to the airport. So okay. at the Clark County building, then we can sort them, take them to the airport, and manage it a little bit easier. All right.